Good morning, Royals. We are here, day two. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm waiting for the elevator because it is now 8.21 in the morning and we are about to go eat breakfast before we head out. Oh, oh hi doggy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go. So, oh, welcome to the Hilton Hampton Inn Continental Breakfast, where you only have the essentials, like cereal. And you can toast. What's in here? Oh, there you go, bacon. Is that a taco? Oh, what's that? It's like a cheese. Oh, omelet. I was like, is that a taco? <laughs> <laughs> you want a waffle? I think I want a waffle. I just want one. Were you, you going to get two? Oh. Obviously, we are not the professional. I don't, I don't have a waffle maker at home. This is too much work. I'm buying just waffles already done. Okay, we just finished breakfast. It was actually a really good breakfast to be what they call continental, so it was really good. But now we're about to hurry to go catch an Uber and head over to Woodenstock. I think that's the name of the town. Mm -hmm. Town over called Woodenstock to visit the Museum of Culture and Art. So let's head there and see how this is.
abandoned us. No, you didn't. Okay, so we just finished the Museum of Work and Culture. What did you think? What is the review out of five? I would definitely give it five stars. It was things that I had never heard before. So that's what I found very positive about it. What was the best thing you liked about it? I liked learning about the little twist of the Industrial Revolution and knowing how many uh, Canadians from Quebec came down to be part of it and learning that the primary language spoken here was actually French, not English. Didn't know that until we visited Wonsaket. So earlier in my video, I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> so it, this little town is called Wonsaket, uh, actually from the French, but you can just say Wonsaket as well. But yes, I definitely gave it five out of five stars, this place. This is why I love learning about different cultures, because just like she said, mm -hmm. had no idea that this town of Rhode Island had a French Canadian a set of culture people here so that's perfect and then my favorite part one of the favorite parts I should say is learning the fact at the end of the part of the museum you will see that there is a big Mexican Hispanic community here not really so much in Woonsocket it's more in Central Falls but still they came here as well because a lot of the French Americans or just Americans left to go help with the World War II so yes so side note read some things when you go to a museum please you learn <laughs> you, you learn a lot when you read okay all right so loved it now we're about to actually go get something to eat before we head to our next museum which will be the john brown museum okay royal so pit stop we actually did not realize we were this close to the woonsocket falls dam this dam this river still produces seven million hours of electricity for this town maybe even larger area than this the only reason why they dammed this river up is because of the two hurricanes otherwise this would have river would have kept flowing to produce electricity how neat is this See what this the hype with the height wiener is all about. Mmm, <laughs> with the celery salt. I think I'm gonna get another one. I don't even eat hot dogs like that, but this right here, this is great. Could be I'm hungry too, but all right, my watermelon icy. Or oh, frozen, frozen watermelon drink. They say this is good. And the onion. Mm. Yeah. I don't know exactly what the name of this place is, but it says "Welcome to New York Lunch." I mean, maybe that's the name of the place, but this place is good, and it's so cute here. Definitely a good mom and pop. Oh, but just know you only have cash on you. Royals, if you are ever in Moonsocket, if you just finished the Museum of, what, the Museum of uh, Working Culture, please walk a few feet across the street to New York and lunch. It is absolutely perfect. The environment was pretty. It's like this cute little 50 diners type setting. The people are straight from New York. You can hear it in their accents. And the hot wieners. How are the hot wieners? Wonderful. Get everything on it. Yes. All the way. For two of us, the meal was $10.80. Can't beat it. So worth it. Please stop on Main Street to New York lunch. So worth it. Get the hot wieners. And try the coffee milk. And try. So for Bonita, try the coffee milk. <laughs> It's not for me <laughs> but I had the watermelon lemonade that was great but you can't beat the price the environment the customer service was great 
come back here. You'll absolutely love it. Now we're going to walk Main Street to go see if we can find any of the Hispanic or Latino community because they said it was on Main Street, but we're not sure how it happened with the pandemic. So I don't know if it like kind of went away, but we're going to see. Okay, we're what? back. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Here's our review. I need, I need a drink after that. <laughs> okay, messing up your review. <laughs> I'm trying to get what. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what's what's your review on the John Brown house? Um, as far as historic aspect goes, out of five stars, I think it is a historical moment. Um for Rhode Island and just history in general, who knew? It's only something you can experience. I, there's no words to describe it. Besides, I think it's very heavy. I, I was gonna say, she heavy is the right word for her because I think towards the end, she was ready to go. <laughs> uh, from a historic standpoint, I mean, it's, I will definitely say it's a five because like she said, it definitely depicts a lot of things about Rhode Island, even about Brown University. I didn't realize that the name Brown University pretty much came from this family. Mm -hmm. So that, which by the way, Brown University was not named Brown University first. It was named the College of Rhode Island first. Yes. So, and then they named it after the nephew from here. Yes. But I like the fact that they were, well, the, the later family members were modern. The bathroom in here I think was probably like the most modern thing I've ever seen in this this day and age so that was good um, and they told a good historic content of the family mm -hmm. um, our opinion you should save the room that that depicts the Sally that is part of the the slave trade ship they use when they got back into the slave trade save that room for last and you'll figure out why mm -hmm. when you go but I like this. I'm glad we did it. Um, but you go in with 
an open mind. Yeah, you have to go with an open mind, and you have to go in knowing this is just history. It's nothing to really get mad about or emotional about, unless you internally take it to say, okay, it's just history, it's what happened. But I knew that going in, so I think she kind of realized that after. <laughs> I'm disturbed. <laughs> she, she takes it a little bit more emotional I'm than me. <laughs> However, I thought the whole, uh, was it a goat head or like a cow's head? Oh, yeah, that, that was thing. Really, that was really cool. That, that really stands out. <laughs> when you pour, uh, matter of fact, you know, I'm not even going to say because you guys need to experience this yourself. Yes. But okay. it, it was very interesting, actually. All right, so now the rest of the day, we're just going like, to kind of walk around downtown. I think Brown University is near here, so we're going to go find it. And Welcome. later we have dinner. I think it's at six or so. We didn't book anything tonight. We're winging it, remember? That's tomorrow. I forgot about that. We don't have reservations. We gotta find something to eat. We do. So we're just gonna just wing it the rest of the day. <laughs> so that one's I'm trying to smile right now, <laughs> but uh... 